Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. Playing some more Animal Crossing today, I hope you are all are well. So let's load up the game and get started on day two of our brand new town. So I haven't played anything since yesterday. Um, we're just going to continue basically exactly from where we left off. So let's see what's changed. We should have a house now because we paid off our tent loan yesterday. So let's see, uh, amiibo camera. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've ever used the amiibo camera, I'm gonna be honest. Um, hey everyone, people here. Uh, hi Surf Monkey, Asic, Earthen Tiger, Mint Simming, and Mysterious Green Thunder. Hello. Welcome. You're here bright and early. Welcome to the stream. So I've changed the audio around a little bit, so let me know if the game audio is too loud, or if it's fine, or if it's not fine. Please? Preparing your town. So yeah, we should have our house. We can, I think, start on the development permit today. That's the plan. Uh, yes, we can go to the town hall and see Isabel. I'm pretty sure she's talking about the development permit. So that is all well and good. Oh, look at our house. It's so cute and Pete is here. Hello there, Mayor. I've got a delivery for you. I already put it in your mailbox. Fantastic. When your mailbox is full, I can't cram any more in there. Sure. Okay, perfect. Goodbye, Pete. Oh, wow, look, it's actually still... What is this? Oh. What is this? How is this placement even existing right now? I, I thought the rock would protect me. Oh my, well at least my trees are protected, right? <laughs> this is so dumb. Should we see who it is? I have to know. It's Tammy. Um. I'm not sure who that is, so I'll be endeavouring to get rid of them as soon as possible because that house placement is absolutely ridiculous. <sighs> Neighbours, I mean, I didn't think I'd have to like pattern this area. I thought the rock would protect me, so eh. Anyways, yeah, it's really dumb. So let's see what we've got in the mail. From the post office. Oh yeah, we're gonna get more uh, savings things and our painting from red, which should be legit. And the the mysterious mayor. Who is this? Uh, it's it's who should have been mayor. It's kind of cool that they send that letter because you do kind of feel bad, like oh god, I've just stolen somebody's job and like <laughs> everything's terrible, but it's okay. Um, let's get. Is it the box of tissues first? Box of tissues. And also, oops, our present, which is the flowery painting. So we'll take that over to Blathers. Um, the rock only covers one space. Yeah, I mean, I suppose I should have thought about that. I just didn't think that this, <laughs> this would happen. Oh well, we can. Um, we can just get them to move out. I mean, it, it might take forever, but alas. Um, anyways, let's just begin our, our chores for today. We can go over and talk to Isabel and just pick up stuff along the way. But man, that house placement is really rough. <laughs> it's really bad. <sighs> this is like Annalise's house, is that right? See, this is okay. This is kind of like off the beaten track because I would have a pathway that goes to my house, right? But that kind of um, screws up the path idea a little bit, unfortunately. But hey ho, we should check the rock. Maybe the rock will be the money rock and make the start a little bit easier for me here. Oh, it is. Nice. Oh no, I think I've positioned my character wrong. Look, I'm not going to get all the bells. No. What a noob. Oh well, it's fine. I have loads of money in the bank. Just being lazy. Let's put that in there. I've got loads of 
crap in my inventory from doing fishing yesterday. Should dig a secret tunnel from your basement to theirs. Yeah, that would be really weird. If, like, animal houses had basements. Man, do you think animal houses will ever have more than one room? I wonder if they do, like, an upstairs or something. It's kind of interesting to think about. Alright, let's just go have a run around town. We can go talk to Isabel and start up the permit shenanigans. Hi, Annalise. How are you doing today? It has been fairly pleasant. In the real world, it's kind of cloudy. It's, it's okay though. It's not too bad. Oh, that reminds me, if you read the bulletin board yet? I did, to clear the bird from on top of it because it was tweeting. Rather ir irritating. Yeah, I, I know about the bird, Annalise. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, thanks for that. Hopefully we'll get through the tutorials right, kind of soon here. Also... So let's head up. Hi Penelope, I remembered your name- oopsie daisy. I remembered your name and everything. Oh, it's totally you. Hi. How's it going? Man, you know what? I've never really taken advantage of the photos in this game because I have a capture card, but like, I guess it'd be pretty cool to take snaps of stuff if you didn't have another way of recording your life. Like, you could take photos of bug catches or like cool events that happened. I wonder if people do that and like keep a diary that way and do like screenshots every day, that'd be kind of cool. How's it going? Harry, the hippo. I do remember how to save Harry, thank you very much. <laughs> He's doing Rosetti's job for him. That's what's going on here. Uh oh, a weed. I'm thinking I might leave the weeds until I can get like... Oh, I hear a balloon. Wait. Hold on. Oh, I can get this with my, um, my net. Ha! <laughs> this will be good. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I was thinking that I would save the weeds and try and get some furniture like when Leaf comes to town and you have to do the weeding mini game. but I'm not sure if I'd rather get like a perfect town first because I don't have all of the weeding furniture because I didn't know it was a thing for the longest time because I always kept my town clean. Oh man this is gonna take a while. <laughs> yeah Harry has a nice mustache doesn't he? Look at it. It's like because he's a hippo, his mouth is so big, so his mustache is just, like, huge. <laughs> you haven't eaten anything? Oh, I've eaten, I'm fine. You want some fruit? An apple? I mean, good, because that's all we have here. This is everything we have. Okay, this is, like, a mission, so I guess that kind of thing would go towards the permit, right? So... We'll be sure to do that in just a second here. Hello that odd ghost, how are you doing? We're just getting a, a balloon here. Oh no wait, this is my secret beach so I won't even be able to get it. Oh my gosh, I'm so silly. Like, I'm gonna do this. Oh no, it fell on the mountain. Okay, good. Cause like, if it fell onto the beach, I would not have been able to get that cause I don't have a swimsuit. Or a diving suit. I have a balloon bed, so I don't actually need this, but it's just good. I wonder if this, if getting the balloons that way counts towards the balloon badge, or if you have to use a slingshot. Never actually looked into that, because most of the time I do actually have a slingshot. That's kind of interesting. Alright, hi Isabel, how are you doing? Do I need to go sit in the chair? Yes, we haven't packed. We didn't even go inside our house, we'll have to go in and do that. I think she gives you um some wallpaper, right? <laughs> She's not finished unpacking, that's funny. The town hall, please tell me, Isabel. So the other thing is I don't have a flag design in mind, so I'll probably just change it to one of the default ones and then do a designy thing myself at some other point. So yeah, let's get the permit. The special chair. I love a special chair. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's do it. Because I have a house, so that's like one of the requirements. 
Yes, the development permit, please. First requirement is you own a house in town, which I have. Second requirement for the town development per permit is to gain the approval of the citizens. In order to gauge citizen approval, I'll regularly survey the townsfolk to see what you think of you. Alright, cool. According to the preliminary survey, your current approval rating is 22%. My lucky number. Alright, so we've got a little ways to go. If we don't get it today, that's fine. But I don't have a huge amount of, like, anything else to do. So I may as well just run around and help animals and do all the things. Maybe I should pull that weed out, actually. That might actually count for, like, a percent or something. Hi, Zelda fan. How are you doing? So we need to get um, a fruit for Harry the hippo. Uh, let's get an apple tree. Oh, careful. We'll do our best to like talk to all the different animals and try and get through the tutorial text and have some actual conversations with them. So yeah, let's pull this weed for now anyway. And hopefully we'll be able to do some chores for them like Harry here. I think this chore is part of the tutorial stuff, but it's fine, like, I think it'll still count as to being a good citizen. So, Harry, don't hide behind that tree. I need to talk to you. Hey, dude. Uh, would you like an apple? Wawa! <laughs> the animalese was so good there for Wahoo, that sounded funny. Wahoo! <laughs> he did it again! Delicious, nom. An amazing flavour! Thank you for granting my needy little request. No worries, dude. A library wall? Mm. You have nice taste, Harry. I'll go run back to my house real quick and you can have a look inside. Because I've got some stuff in my inventory I need to get rid of as well. But that's probably more of a, a retail job, I think. Well, no, I, I can go drop some stuff off. Um... I'll just wear my cool shirt again today because I've decided that Sky is like my, my best friend, so <laughs> I'm gonna wear the shirt that she gave me. Hey PB. Hope you're well. Welcome to the stream. Oh, careful now. I need to not ruin all my flowers. This dumb house. Oh. I thought I'd be safe. I was greatly mistaken. It's so terrible. Oh look at this! Look at my little house! Hey Isabel, I actually, I really like the wallpaper she gives you. It's like the paw prints, the yellow paw prints. Oh no, I'm carrying things. What? She's gonna mail it to me? Oh dang it, <laughs> I want to use it now. Oh, that's upsetting. I don't think that's ever happened to me before, so that's kind of cool to see what happens if you have stuff. Oh well, thanks Isabel. I love you can hear her little bell in her hair jangling as she walks out. It's super cute. Okay, so we have like some stuff to put away here. I might put the library wall on the wall. It looks a little bit nicer. The top looks kind of weird, but that's what you'd expect in a library, right? So we can put away um, the tissues. And I'll probably sell the balloon bed and then we'll take like the rest of the stuff to retail or to the museum. That is the plan. You've nothing to do in your town right now. You've done your permit. Yeah, <laughs> the animals do kind of tell you to leave them alone after a while if you talk to them too much, which is kind of funny. What bug is that? Is that a tiger beetle? Don't do it. Did I lose it? Dang it. <laughs> I'm a little bit rusty, okay? I'll get better at this bug and fish catching malarkey, I promise. I'm not sure if there's any cool stuff that can appear bugs-wise. I think there's not too much that's time-specific with bugs in the evening. Because it gets darker, I guess we'll get like lantern flies and stuff. This is a nice tune. I like this music. 
it's quite happy, but it's it's starting to get more relaxing as you're coming into the evening. Like it fits really well. Oh, oh, it's Wisp. Oh man, where are you, Wisp? Are you up here? Nice. <laughs> He's like inside the lamp, so his voice sounds really far away. <laughs> uh. I can rescue you, Wisp, that's fine. I mean, I'm sorry, question mark, question mark, question mark. I apologize. Spoilers. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll help you out. I need to, like, clear some inventory space, but, you know. So, yeah, Wisp, you can use, like, amiibo and stuff to, like, summon animals, and it's pretty cool. But I don't need to do it right now, so. Let me dig some... Oh! I was gonna say fossil, but it's actually the pitfall seed. So I'm gonna go, like, buddy that on the beach so that I don't step in it. Um, and that'd be good so that I don't have to worry about digging it up all the time. I don't remember where all the rocks in my town are, so we're just gonna have to learn that and then figure out which one's the, whoops, the fake one. I'm trying to read chat and dig at the same time. <laughs> That's what's going on here. You like watching people play Animal Crossing? Yeah, I can get that. It's sort of... I mean, I've played Animal Crossing since the DS version. So I'm like super into the game. But I do enjoy watching people play it as well because it's always a slightly different experience. And it's just... it's so relaxing as well. You can just chill out. Don't want to sell that. We can sell that. Did we hand in squids and stuff? We probably did, and if we didn't, it's okay. We can just pick up some more along the way. That's everything, thank you. 2220. Do you have anything else in today? Ooh, you have a, a, a tomato plant? Or, well, it's a planter, but it looks like it's maybe strawberries. I don't know. Uh, Mad Maxito, thank you for following there. I see I've turned the volume down, so I've not spooked myself. It's less spooky. 100% less spook for me today. Uh, yeah, we'll take this. I don't particularly want it, but I'll just sell it to you straight away. Hey Mac, how's it going? Came all the way over here? Yeah, I know, I'm sorry dude, I just bought the last thing. <laughs> Wait, was the planter not his? I wasn't paying attention. Less spooky. Yeah, you're right. Three spooky, five me. We got some dandelions here. I can't remember, I think, are these counted as weeds or are the dandelion puffs counted as weeds? I'm not sure. Cause I think the dandelions look fine and like the dandelion puffs look really cool as well. Clover. Ooh, I saw that just too late. <laughs> Dang it. I'm so unobservant. Well, it's not so much that I'm unobservant, it's just cause I'm trying to like multitask. Hey look, I'm the mayor. Didn't actually read the board, I just scared the bird away earlier. Woohoo! Okay, cool. So, let's go into town. Main Street. And we'll head over to the museum and drop off the stuff and then we can just like chill out and go fishing and talk to animals. Uh, we can gather up all of our flowers as well and like plant them on the beach and water them. I think that gives you some, it at least gives you points towards unlocking a Leaf's gardening store. Um, but I think it also helps with the permit. I think watering flowers helps. Wake up, Lather's friend. I have, I'll have more fossils for you later, but for right now you can take these two and have a look at them. The amount of fish in this game is insane. Yeah, it's really good. I'm so happy that they added diving. I think that's like a really cool mini game. Well, it's not really a mini game, but just like part of the game is cool. Hi, Torterra Bite. I love your name. That's a really cool name. Torterra is a very good, uh, very cool Pokemon. In fact, all of the Sinnoh starters are amazing. Potentially one of my favorite starter trios. Yeah, I I'd say that. I'd probably say it's my favorite. Let us donate. And hi Metaton as well. How's it going? I hope you're well. A trilobite? Cool. An actual fossil that's like not part of a set. <laughs> Alright. 
enjoy Blathers. We can have a look around the museum when it's more full. But I don't think there's a huge amount in there now. I think I've donated like all of the stuff I've caught. I've not done like hardly any fishing or bug stuff. So we'll get on it. We'll absolutely get on it. We also got to do all the whole buying the stuff from the shops. So I suppose we should do that now while we're like on Main Street. And we should also see about doing our next payment. Sinnoh does have the best starter lineup for sure, followed by Kalos. Yeah, I could see that. Hey, thanks for the follow, Meston. It's very kind of you. Um, yeah, Kalos is very strong. I'd say, like, Chespin. I feel like Chestnut is okay. I like it enough, but I, I think Chespin, like, in its first form, is my favourite of that entire line. Greninja is, like, super sick and the Fennekin line is, is cool as well. So yeah, he's talking about like happy home, are we? I'm not even paying attention to what he's saying. Yeah, it's the, it's the happy home stuff. That's fine, we can do that. I've never really done much in terms of um, actually trying to get high scores because you can get like the high scores, but then there's theming as well. So you can get like crazy high scores. Okay, so I need to go to the bell point now, that's fine. I think the weakest Pokemon started with Unova, followed by Johto. Um, I would disagree. I think Johto are definitely my least favorite starters, but I really like Chikorita. The other two are okay. Um, but I'm not, I haven't played the Johto games as much, so I might be a little bit biased with that opinion. So let's pay off another loan, because we can. Perfect. Ooh. Awesome. I finished playing, playing, <laughs> playing off my plum plone. Words. Words are hard. Chicory is your least favorite starter of all time? No, take that back. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Yeah, Chikorita is kind of a weird one. Like, it's super cute, but also really derpy. But I quite like it because of that. Uh, Bacon Gamer 1987, thank you for the follow. Just as we're um, paying off our loan here. A teensy bit on the Wii side? Sure. Let's go. I mean, I, I literally need the bigger house just to, like, store all my furniture and stuff. I'm still looking for that shabby mailbox. If we get that mailbox, I'll be very happy and I will buy it straight away. But you have to remember and not do a house upgrade on the same day as you want to buy something because he won't let you, I think. I think that's how it works. We'll go see what's in Nickling Junction next. Yeah, Chikorita's moves are kind of rubbish, but it's for me it's more the cuteness and just, I think it's adorable. <laughs> Oh wow, look at this. Look at this combination of cats. Golden cats. We have a sphinx and a golden lucky cat. That's crazy. There's like some kind of, of weird Illuminati stuff. Oh look, I'm like spending all my money on this dumb cat. <laughs> I didn't get any play coins. I'm so bad. I like completely forgot. I'll shake the 3DS tonight, okay? I promise. <laughs> I do have, I think, almost all of them. I think I'm missing like one or two of the newer fortune cookie items that were added, but I definitely have like one to 50. Man, I'm gonna have to go withdraw some more cash monies. It's a good thing I have some. Do, 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 do. Could I withdraw? some money please man look we're so rich this is great <laughs> perfect thank you yeah i can like reorder stuff from my catalog but like i have so much stuff lying on the floor of my other town to bring over that like i'm not even thinking about decorating my house because the way i decorate my house is i put up furniture sets that take up a lot of room I'll have like two rooms spare to like make pretty how I want. But aside from that, my house pretty much acts as storage. 
Also, look, it's the long sleeve version of the shirt that Sky gave me. That's cool. I mean, I'm just buying everything anyway, but it is cool that I have like the long sleeve version as well. And the Nebula shirt. I don't think I talked to Mabel. Uh, sorry, Sable. I need to talk to her as well. Hello. <laughs> she still just wants nothing to do with me. It'll be a couple days before she actually starts to talk. Western pants. You know something funny about these is um, in Pocket Camp, I had like a complete catalogue for the longest time except for I think it was Western pants or the Western shirt. I think it was the trousers though. And it's one of those items you can only get in fortune cookies so I had to like just pray to the RNG gods to give me what I wanted and it was like the last item I had to complete my catalogue. We have room for four things here. Oh look, there's a heart pin. That's cute. I'll probably keep that. Thank you. I don't think I have any need for any of these other things, but we can buy them and just immediately sell them. I might keep the heart hair pin though. That's kind of cute. I don't think I have any pink clothes, <clears throat> but it's fine. Like, I'm not exactly worried about my fashion sense right now on day two. I did keep quite a lot of Gracie clothes from my other town though so I've got like the really nice um, white skirt. I forget what it's called. It's like maybe a, a scallop skirt or something but it's really pretty anyway. So I've got some Gracie clothes and just some bits and pieces that I like so we can um, get all of those. I suppose I could put stuff in my letters and just buy the rest of this now, huh? Can you store that? No, I didn't think so. Fair enough. Do I want to keep any of this? I might keep the golden cat. That's kind of cool. We'll keep the shirt. So... Do I want anything else? The heart hairpin. There we go. So I should have enough room to buy all the rest of the stuff now. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Man, maybe I should keep these goggles to like fully RP when I go diving. <laughs> That'd be funny. Hi, Mandamu. Welcome. I saw you following there. It's gonna pop up anytime, but it won't scare me today because I turned the volume down. Yesterday, all the notifications were like scaring me because it was too loud. <laughs> so I'll see you there in a little minute. There it is. Thanks for following as well, Amanda Me, That's cool. Um, yeah, I was getting spookified, which is not good for anyone. Well, it's probably funny to you, but <laughs> it was slightly less funny for me. All right, cool. Let's go to retail, sell all this stuff. We've got a couple of fossils to find. We can like change our town tune. You know what, I'll probably do the same as I did in my last town. I got the, um, I found online like a list of like game related music and I did the Steel Samurai song from the Ace Attorney games and it sounded super sick so I'm gonna have to like find that um, and make that my town tune because it sounds great. <laughs> and I'll just change the flag to a default one. What I was gonna try and do is I was going to look for the sprite of the lily um, flower that appears like on the touchscreen in your inventory and then copy that sprite but make it blue like my my branding blue and that was gonna be the flag because it's lily cove so we'll see how that works um, I won't I'll probably not do that on stream because that's really boring but um, oh who dis Sunflowers, thank you for following. It's very kind of you. Sunflower. Man, I was playing Plants vs. Zombies recently because uh, Nintendo Capri Sun's doing a, a no sunflower challenge on YouTube. And I'm just like, dang, that's a great game. I need to play that again. So I did. I didn't do like all the achievements or anything. Should probably get back to it. Um, I was going to catch that butterfly, but I actually... I already have that. Dang, look at all these aminals here. So many aminals. Hey Harry, how's it going? What's up? 
Yeah. Rock and roll clothes? You don't like your shirt? Oh, I just- oh, I thought he was gonna ask me for a new one and I was just like, sorry bud, I just sold like all of my clothing. <laughs> Oh, I just about to use the weather as an excuse. I'm not gonna lose the weather. I'm not gonna lose to anything. Oh, wow. It's pretty nice out. We're getting that nice sky transition because of the time we're playing. You're watching that series too? Yeah, it's pretty good, eh? It's nice. Hey, thanks for the whole smith swimming. That's cool. Hi, Penelope. Oh, Bo. <laughs> Oh, you want to hang out? Sure. What's like the minimum time? Oh, she tells me. Okay, right guys, you have to remind me because I always forget. It's 6.30, we need to go home, okay? Like, I forget these all the time. Like, I have to set reminders on my phone because I forget. <laughs> um, we should be dressing up to the nines. Yeah, sure. You look super cute. Man, when she changes her shirt, it's going to be so upsetting. It's 5.30 just now, so it's it's in an hour's time. Exactly one hour from now. I should remember because I'm like here and streaming, but usually I forget. What's going on, Annalise? Someone news Yeah, I heard they're moving. They're moving right next to me. And right next to you as well, actually. Yeah, I mean, it's cool to have new people. I just don't want the new people like immediately next to my house, but hey. Whatever, man. Whatever. Shall we do the, um, change the flag and stuff now? I think it boosts it by like 3% or something tiny, but we can do it anyway. Hi, Isabel. Can we? change well we can just change the tune real quick but I, then i'll go and change it to steel samurai um so let's just do like we'll make it go longer at the end sing it for me isabel cool oh it's so beautiful <laughs> i know perfect all right let's also change the flag I mean, I don't right now, but I guess we could use the rose flag because it's at least a flower. Yes, perfect. I'll work on the lily design shortly. Um, let's just see where we are with the permit. Just for funsies. And then we'll check again, like, at the end of the stream. I'm probably going to go till a two hour, like, stream again. So until seven, which is an hour and a half from now. Just so you guys know. Uh, development permit. For- whoa! It's actually gone up quite a lot! Nice! Post the bulletin board? Oh, does that work? Okay, let's post an amazing message on the bulletin board, shall we? This will be great fun. <laughs> you need to look for pass and then you have to place them all. I know, it takes a while, sunflowers, but like... When it's done, you have a really pretty town. I'll definitely be looking for some designs because I'm I'm not good enough to design them myself. I don't think my designs look very good, so I'll, I'll be finding some online and seeing which ones look pretty. Um, new town who this. Perfect such an inspirational message. Um, <laughs> so dumb. Okay, we need to collect flowers and water the ones that are starting to die a little bit here. And also dig up this fossil. I think we have one more to find. There you go. Bye-bye. And look at this secret beach down here. I can hide all sorts of stuff from the world. Nobody else. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, duba. Oh, it's gonna fall. Nah. I can't. Perspective. No. Oh. <laughs> oh no. character was so upset. I think the problem was it was like one square in front so I couldn't get it to land on the ground. 
Oh no, that was so bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh well, it's fine. I don't need the items. I just need like the badges for balloon popping and I don't even know if not using a slingshot counts. So um, it's okay guys, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Maybe some of you have never seen that happen before. Huh? Think of it that way. Opening your eyes. All the mistakes. I'll make them. So that you don't have to. Hmm? I'm sure that logic is not flawed at all. So yeah, we're running around for flowers and also we still need to get the gem rock, right? I'm pretty sure. If we didn't find it. Man, look at all these flowers. There's so many. Uh oh. Um, yeah, we gotta go home and sort out the inventory and then we'll come back. Let me just see if there's a rock. Oh, this is suspicious. No, I mean, this is suspicious. There we go. That's cool. We can sell this. Do we have other stuff to sell? So we're gonna keep that. Uh, we're gonna keep everything here. We'll go home. And we'll just put some stuff away. Real quick. Hi, Harry. Bye, Harry. <laughs> you didn't know you could pop balloons with the net? Yeah, I didn't know for a long time. Um, and I saw... I must have seen someone do it, or like... I'm not even sure how I found out. But it was like, mind-blowing. It's good at the start when you don't have like, tools and stuff. This house, every time. It is so upsetting. Is Tammy... What kind of animal is Tammy? For some reason I want to say kangaroo, but I'm probably mistaken. But either way, like, they're moving out as soon as I get the opportunity to. Oh, look at this. This library wall actually makes the house look kind of cool. I'm, I'm just gonna put the... I should probably talk to Wisp, right, before I put the lamp away. Just so he's like had a chance to introduce himself. Ta-da! Hi Wisp, how's it going? I don't actually want to use your services, but it's nice to see you. You can now live in my closet forever. <laughs> I'm so sorry, bud. Bye! Well, unless he sits on top of this. Does he sit on top of this? Oh, he does! What about the instruction manual? Oh, I've got a mystery book now. This is cool. I'll put the lucky cat in my house. There we go. Perfect. Creepy meows. Alright, let's just um, shove this stuff in here. I will sort it out later. Don't worry about it. Perfect. She's a yellow bear. Hmm. I'm not sure if I've met her. I recognise the name. I'm not sure if I've met her before. Have I caught you? Also, will I be able to redeem myself? Probably not. Oh, I think I'm too close to like swing the net. Hey, got him. A long locust. Hey, it's a new thing, cool. Oh look, someone's watered these roses already. That's probably Annalise, because that's her house right there. I don't mind where her house is so much. It's not as intrusive, because it's set back a little bit. So that's okay. But yeah, Tam Tammy's gotta go big time. She's not even here yet, poor thing. Watch her be like a super cool animal. Oh, there's my last fossil. You got some cool paths? Nice, congrats. Yeah, I'll have to think about that kind of soon. So does planting- should I be planting flowers with the shovel and watering them? Or can I just plant them and then not worry about using the shovel? I'll just use the shovel for now. I think I'll just plant them by type and like not leave spaces for hybrids because I'm not totally into that right now at that stage. Hi Alexa223, how's it going? 
Welcome. So let's plant like tulips over here. We can do hybrid stuff like later down the, the line because right now I'm kind of just like trying to establish things where I want them to be. So we'll just plant them by breed and then it's kind of somewhat organized for when I actually want to go ahead and do this properly. So we've got some tulips. Man it's quite nice how like flat the seafront is like you've got this little notch here which you kind of always get at some point but other than that it's it's really flat and nice nicely laid out we'll do roses here and then once I've gathered them all down here we can do some watering of the flowers I also think that donating stuff to the museum increases the town permit so we should spend some time fishing and catch any bugs that we see just to get that going as well it's all very exciting like stuff feels like it's coming together now which is cool oh look oh yeah these are the flowers that i was like panic planting when i had a full inventory before see look at this look at this piece of wall like how flat this is uh pansies And more pansies. And we can plant these here. Do 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 and these here. Nice. Alright, let's get going. Oh I have you already, that's fine. Whoop. Some more roses. Who's in their house? That's um oh that's Sky. Of course I've not seen Sky today. We should go say hi to Sky. Let's go do that. Hello, best friend. <laughs> best friend to be. I've decided. I've decided we're gonna be friends now. Okay, thanks. <laughs> oh, look at our house. It's super cool. Hi Nicola, welcome to my home. I'm just here to chat. I hate to ask this of you, but there's a fish I really want to get my hands on. Have you heard of this? A saw shark? Jeez, Louise. I don't have access to the island. Is that even possible? Oh god, I'm gonna have to let her down the first thing she asks of me. Dang it. Well, I guess we're gonna spend some time next to the ocean and just like, see what happens. Oh, gosh darn it. Sky, come on. Such a high standard. Your honest opinion, how does the outfit look? It looks pretty stylish. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh man. She has great taste in music as well. Do do. <laughs> Alright, well I guess we now have to get a saw shark from Sky. Speaking of Sky, I was doing some doodles. I was making a to-do list, right? So on my to-do list, I've got stuff to do, but look, I drew Sky. you see her? I drew my dumb face, my dumb character's face, and like Sky, and some flowers and stuff <laughs> on my notebook. It's like all the stuff I need to do in the town. I like making lists, so we have an Animal Crossing list and Sky's on it. Well, let's have a quick um, scout down here to see if there's any cool fishies because we didn't do a huge amount of fishing. Oh, look it. You see? Oh, hang on. <laughs> hang on, I need to get up there. Gosh, there's so many balloons. I don't think I'm going to make that in time. I need to try though. Everybody out the way. Penelope, excuse me. I'm coming through. Oh, dang it. I'm way too late. Oh no, I'm not. What did it be? Eh. Oh, I dropped on the ground. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why am I so bad? I could have probably used the shovel as well. Dang it. 
what is going on today, guys? This is so bad. Rip. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you have a techo mint simming? Oh. I also have a techo. It's like on a shelf over there. Um. I, I get too scared to draw in it though. Like I stick stuff into it that I've drawn but I couldn't draw directly onto the paper. The paper is so lovely though, like it's definitely such a nice book. But I get scared because I don't want to ruin it because it's so pretty. Alright, we may as well catch this fish while we're here. I mean, if you'd actually entertain catching onto the bait, that would also be nice. Let's go from this angle. There's that balloon taunting me in the background. Oh no. Oop. Ooh, I don't have you yet. It's a carp. I really seize the DM. <laughs> That's such a good one. I think it used to be Carpe Carp, which is also funny. Um, it's good. Here we go. Come on. Come on, friend. Come on. Oh. Two. Three. Nice. Oh, the mosquitoes are coming out. Ooh, another one. Cool. You're playing through Dragon Quest IX? That's super cool, Surf Monkey. I um, was testing my files, uh, not yesterday, the day before yesterday, so I have a, a clear save file ready for when I start the LP. I'm gonna get bitten by this mosquito here. Um, I actually have two copies of that game. Or is it three? No, it's two. Um, so one is like my big super mega save file. And then the other one is the one I was doing as like practice runs. Another one. What is going on here? I was doing practice. Yeah, <laughs> there's a mosquito. Um, yeah, I was doing practice playthroughs, multiple playthroughs of Dragon Quest IX. Um, and like, I'm pretty much set to go for that. It's just that I'm focusing on the strems for a little while, just to get back into the practice of talking. Because honestly, like, when you when you stop talking for a while, like in terms of recording, like doing what I'm doing now, you forget like so quickly how hard it is to just like come up with stuff to say. And it's a little bit easier, I think, in the streaming format because you have chat to read or it's just more relaxing. But when... Fish! Fish! When you're like, um, the YouTube format's different. You need to be like constantly knowing what you're talking about or like looking at my walkthrough notes and stuff. So I wanted to practice like chatting to myself before doing that. Oh, I think the eel is facing the wrong way. Yeah, he is. Owie. Yeah, the Dragon Quest hero added to Smash. That was like mental. I did not even see that coming. And I got so excited because I saw like the Sentinel outfit change. It looks so cool. And music as well. Any, any cool Dragon Quest remixes would be very much appreciated. I've only actually ever played nine, which is a travesty, I know. But like, the thing is, I always thought, okay, I'll do the LP and then I'll play all the other Dragon Quest games. I don't know if you noticed, but I haven't done the LP yet. I own almost every Dragon Quest game. I have like the three DS ones, the three DS ones, I think there's three. And then I've got seven and eight on the three DS, like the remakes, I've got nine. So it's like the early ones that were like released on Game Boy Color or something. Even then, I think that was only released in North America. So I'd have to find that somewhere or just like download a ROM and play it. This eel does not want to... <sighs> Dude, am I gonna have to go to the other side of the river? Nope. 
Here he is. Got him. Look at him go. Things just got real. Perfect. You're thinking of getting another copy of Dragon Quest IX? You know, it's worth, like, especially if you put hundreds of hours into your first save, it feels real bad to, like, consider getting rid of that. Um, and also, like, if you have any cool maps that you want to keep, you can trade them to a second copy. Because something that I've done is, um, there's a save editor for Dragon Quest IX. There's some really good resources for this game. Um, and with the save editor, you can put in, like, the DLC items, because obviously, like, the DLC for DS games is dead now. The Wi-Fi is gone. But I've managed to, you know, work the save editor, because I have a way of getting save files off of DS cartridges. So it's legit cartridge, um, but I just take the ROM and then edit the ROM uh, save file. So I can get, like, all the items. I can't actually complete the game. So it's going to be really cool and like super 100% complete. So we're talking a good few hundred hours here. It's, it's going to be a big deal. I'm excited. Like I've wanted to do it for so long. And like there's not really much talk about Dragon Quest IX. And to me it's like one of my favourite ever games. Nobody really talks about it. Um, I don't really know why that is. Like maybe Dragon Quest just wasn't very popular but it's honestly one of my all-time favorites so I'm very excited to share the love the Dragon Quest love yeah Earth and Tiger if you go on to um, the Dragon's Den fan site there's like loads of really good resources there and links to the save editor so you can get like you know, if you didn't get the DLC quests, or they have a save file on there with the, um, shoot, what's the name of it? Is it Masayuki? I don't remember. The the map that has Metal King Slimes appear on, um, Floor 15. So you can get that as well. It's really cool. It's, like, super awesome. New Fish Hype. Are the shells sellable? They are. Were you just trying to trick? Ooh. This could be it, friends. This could be the saw shark for Sky. Hold up. Hold up. You can get out of here for a start. We missed the fin fish yesterday. Um, so I'm going to listen. I'm going to concentrate real hard. Please, please, please. I just want to see what it is, even if it's not a saw shark. Oh, another what the heck I did not see the second mosquito I swear I pressed it fast enough guys oh dang this sucks really bad <laughs> this sucks so bad what the hell I don't know why I'm picking up shells Screw this, man. Screw this. <laughs> like, I think I'm just out of practice with fishing, but equally, I have a pretty good reaction time. I know, not like this. One of the most fitting emotes for missing a finned fish. It's like so perfect. With the hands through the hair, like, no. <laughs> Cube asked me to get a Popeye goldfish, their list is four stars rare. Popeye goldfish is just like river and small, right? Like, even like, I feel like really small river fish are pretty rare anyway. But yeah, I think that is like a rarer one for sure. Dang it. I can't believe I've missed both of the, the fish fins. I 
I'm looking to the ceiling so I use the audio cue and not the visuals by the way. <laughs> I probably look insane but um yeah I'm not like seeing spooky ghosts or anything. I'm just looking at the ceiling to so that I don't I'm not tempted to look at the screen. <laughs> Does getting bit by a mosquito do anything? See, I used to think that it interrupted you catching fish, so I don't know if that's just what happened or if it was just coincidence. Um, but it get it gets um. <laughs> it gets um in the way, I guess. Like it's a pop-up box you have to get rid of. A red snapper, nice. Yeah, I don't think I, it interrupted me on that particular case, but maybe in old games it interrupted you if you were fishing and they changed it. I'm not sure. I think it's just something to annoy you, but it doesn't like leave a scar like being stung by bees. That's the real nightmare. Oh, I wonder if I should do that today. I could, um do like a bee hunting, tree shaking binge. Because I think you get, what is it, um, two pieces of furniture a day in trees and like four bees. Is that right? Um, we don't need you. <laughs> it makes good noise. We should probably head to the museum anyways. Hi Penelope. How's it going? Oh. She's gonna want to buy one of my things, isn't she? Your psychic powers? Oh. Okay. Oh, it's maybe not one of those? What would you compare Annalise to? Coconut cake, Ratatouille, or Penelope? She'd probably freak out if I suggested her. Um, she's sweet, like coconut cake. I thought she was gonna give me an item or something. Gosh darn it. She just shook a tree, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, you could catch the bees that fall from trees. Basically like the easiest way to do it is you shake the tree, like run straight north and then get your net ready and then swing the net and catch the bee. I'll do it in like a second here. That'd be fun. It would mean I have a bee sting face if I get stuck or stung rather. But I don't care. Like, you can go to bed to fix it or you can buy medicine. I don't think I can buy medicine in the store at the moment. But like, I don't care. I can deal with having a bee face. It's not like a huge deal to me. Got cat fur all over my 3DS screen. <laughs> Just wiping it off. Hello Blathers. Shouldn't it be time for you to wake up soon? It's 6. Remember guys, 6.30. What have we got to do at 6.30? That's right, we've got to go home and meet with Penelope. That's right. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, you got it, Ace Tick. You're straight in there. <laughs> uh, Kendall Crossing 2, hi, welcome. You followed as well, thank you. I'll get a pop-up in a second here, there's a bit of a delay. Because I've got like my activity feed open, so I see it but the alert doesn't come through for like a little bit. So I'll see it in a second here. I would like to donate. Oh, we got a duplicate fossil, interesting. Uh, all of this please. And then we can sell the rest. Several things. Perfect. There we go. Thanks for the follow friend. Okay, to retail and then um, fishing, I think, is the plan. We need to check in the ponds, because the ponds can be kind of irritating to like get all the stuff out of there, so we'll do that. Um, also, we can try and find some bugs. That'd be cool. I've missed out on a couple. I need to get a lantern fly, but I keep scaring them away from the trees. We can also try bee hunting, if that's something that you're interested in. See look, it just bit the bait and then went away.
Oh, the concentration with the <laughs> the bell as well. That was tough, man. It's a tadpole. I'm sure it'll grow on me. <laughs> oh. So funny. Now we've got even more flowers here. Let's take them down to the beach as well. Oh, look! Look! It's a lily! Perfect. I should definitely have, like, primarily lilies in the town because it's Lily Cove. I think that would be quite fitting. I feel like I'm not seeing that many apple trees. I feel like I have a lot more regular trees. Which is probably just how it is, but... Hi Annalise, how's it going? Yeah, I'm just, you know, hanging out, chatting. How'd you look today? I don't think that's too gaudy. It really like goes with your hair. Nah, you look good. Harry, I've spoken to you quite a bit today. That plum was good, just a tad though. Oh, I love it. Good job, Zelda fan. That was a great one. What am I full here? <sighs> Let's do that. You know, I don't actually need to be carrying around my shovel or my watering can, so that's fine. We're at retail now anyway, so all is well. Hello Reese. I have things. Give me money. Thank you very much. Hello? <laughs> Wasn't standing close enough to her. I would like to sell, not the tadpole, this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Thank you. Nice. Cash money. I forget how long it is that Cyrus is sleeping for. Is it like two weeks? Or is it calculated by something other than days? So I'm not actually sure. Oh yeah, we've got the uh, gem to sell as well. I think I caught a pond skater already. So we don't need to catch that. But we'll try and catch this fish though. There we go. <laughs> Crawfish, nice. Get Cyrus to wake up, you have to sell 100,000 worth of stuff and have 100 items in your catalogue. Okay, interesting. And have one week passed. Okay, cool. That's fine. I mean, I'm just selling, like, whatever I have, so I'm sure it'll be doable. And uh, look at these, this cool chair. I don't think I want any of this, though. Oh, we've got Gulliver. I think he has some cool stuff. I think he has, like, a treasure chest, which is a rare island item. Oh no, he doesn't. Oh my gosh, look at him without his hat on. How weird is that? How weird is that? <laughs> hey, Gulliver. Wow, it's so nice to talk to you and have you not be confused. That's crazy. Huh, that's cool. See you later, pal. Sweet. Man, this place is so nice and the music is really pretty as well. It's a shame there's not like that much to do here. You can like feed the birds and stuff, but I'm not sure there's really any point to that. Um, it's just like a cool thing to do, so. All right, let's pick up some more flowers. Oh, two white pansies here can breed them to make blue pansies, I believe. Blue flowers are nice. They're harder to get a hold of, but they're nice. So this is Mac, of course. I think we talked to Mac, or we saw him in the shop. What time is it right now? It's five past six. So we've got a little bit of time left. 25 minutes from now. Man, look at this house. He's got like a kennel and a swimming, a paddling pool. 
gang, and again, these animals. They have such good taste in music. Hey dude, how's it going? Hang on, Nicholas, it's time to take a break. Oh, come on. You've not been playing that long. It's only been an hour. Practice swimming in my pool every day. One of these days I'm going to swim all the way out to the island. Oh man. You practice in that thing? <laughs> That's kind of funny that it's a really personal line of text. The citrus aroma you're smelling is the smell of youthful ambition. Some people say my place just smells like a gym. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks kind of cool though. I like his place. He has cool music too. I appreciate that. I believe... Robert uses um, my place in his town, and he's one of my favorite characters. In fact, he is my favorite character. Probably tied with Lily, though. Robert and Lily are like my OG animals from like the very first time I played uh, Wild World. They were both in my starting town, and I love them both, so they're very special to me. We'll head down to the beach, unless there's anything particularly fancy that catches my eye in the river. Like something really small or big. I, we caught this guy, I think. Unless it's a grasshopper, in which case we didn't, but I don't think that's a grasshopper. And we caught a pond skater as well. So we're like... We're good. We're totally good. Let's head down here. Oh, wait. And get these flowers first. Yoink! Keep an eye out for shark fins that I'll inevitably fail to catch. <laughs> oh dear. So peaceful. Um, I'm just gonna use the shovel even though I don't think we actually need the shovel. I'm gonna do it anyway. We'll just plant the rest of our tulips. We've got quite a lot of tulips in comparison to all the other flowers. Which is good. I think tulips have the most hybrids. Oh no! Well, <laughs> rip. Um, I think tulips have the most different colours. Or roses. Or maybe both of them. I think roses, because of gold roses, probably have more. But Do we have extra roses? We do. I don't know why the, the perspective is a little bit off. I think it's just because I haven't played the game in a while. But like, yeah, the perspective, like with knowing where to dig and things, I'm not quite getting it for some reason. But we'll get there. We will get there. So we have one lily. I think lilies are just rarer because they're one of the new flowers. Same with uh, violets, but once we get um, leaf store, I think he'll sell some so we can buy, because we have to buy stuff in there for the tools anyway, which again, I have in my other town, but I'd quite like to do it properly and actually unlock the stuff again, get all the items and such. Oh, look, that pansy is like clipping through the wall a little bit there. Oh well. There we are. And finally, the single lily. So precious. Uh, let's equip the fishing rod and put that away. And we have a nice clear inventory. Oh, look at all these shells I like panic dropped. All right, we'll do another sweep of the ocean and just catch whatever we have to catch. Oh, it scared away the other fish. That's a shame. Oh, look, it's Dory! A surgeon fish. It was a simple operation, though. Ah, oh, it's one of my favorites. Definitely. Oh, okay, guys. We're doing the sealing tactic. As soon as I can see that it's attracted to the bait. Nope, okay. Further down.
Oh. I pressed it so hard. It's a shark. <laughs> Why am I holding it? Because it's a shark. I mean, it's not the shark we wanted, but we've broken the streak of doom. We've broken the streak of doom. Yeah, third time's the charm. Thanks. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Alright, let's catch this inevitable sea bass as well that's down here. I'm not sure, like, what can be in the shadows that's not sea bass. Like, shadows of this size in the ocean. Is it just sea bass or can they have, like, bigger things? Oh, is that a fish there? Yes. Man, playing Animal Crossing the evening is so pretty. I'm so glad that this is working out with when I'm streaming. Because it is super pretty. What have we got? Another red snapper. See, I'd be more excited about that if this were pocket camp because those guys are kind of annoying because you need them to give to villagers um, but they're not like as common as the other fish. So quite often I'll end up buying them from like other people's boxes. It's a seahorse. I meant to, of course. I think the wild world or the, um, the let's go to the city one was like, nay, yay. Or was that the horse mackerel? Someone, there's a nay, yay somewhere. Look, I can't reach. Imagine if there was a shark up there. How disappointing would that be? Like, I can't get over. <laughs> Do I have flashbacks to capturing the Neptuna? Ugh. It was like... It was a while ago. But yeah, I remember. I think it was 19 hours it took me to find the Neptuna. And the thing about that was... The, the hilarious thing is there's something I didn't actually show off in that game. Because of the way I did the fishing. And because that's sometimes if you... um. If you catch a fish, there'll be like this tiny little like skippy jack or something that like hangs on to like the side of your boat. So you get an extra fish. But because of the way I did the fishing all in one go, I was only focusing on the really big ones and I did not get a single tiny fish, which is kind of funny. Like it's not required for your like, it's not recorded, but it's something you can get. But I don't think I've ever had it, ever. I've just seen pictures of it. But yeah, the Neptuna was a long process. Hey, it's Nemo. We got both of them. Aw. Mosquito, no. So mean. Okay, we're gonna walk along here one more time and then walk back. Man, I'm happy we got a shark. I to if that was a saw shark, I would have totally given it to Sky, like, and just caught another one for the museum. Because, I mean, I'm going to catch loads of them when I get to the island. Ooh, nice. He's kind of rare. Sweet. So, like, when we get to the island, there'll be sharks, like, left, right, and center. Um, let me see. Oh, I missed? Dang. See, this is, this is what happens when you don't use the look up at the ceiling technique. Oh look, there's two of them. Well, I guess I'm getting that one. Holy mackerel. I think you get a small icon on the fish screen, though I forget what the screen looks like. It's been a while since I played Phantom Hourglass. Yeah, I think I only ever saw like top screen screenshots of it being caught. But like, again, it's not happened to me, but that's probably because I only focused on catching like the rare fish. And if it wasn't the rare fish, I would just quit out. So I would never actually um, go through the whole catching process. Of course, mackerel. So that's probably why I never actually saw it. Oh man, what's the time? It's quarter past six. We're not quite there yet, Penelope, but don't worry. <laughs> I'm not gonna forget, okay? Maybe. <laughs> I'm trying not to forget. 
Harry, what's up, dude? Oh, what is it? I was gonna say if it was the shark, I don't think I would. Well, maybe I would have. Uh, yeah, sure, you can take that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it sounds so funny in his voice. In his animalese. Oh, man. It sounds really funny. Thanks, dude. Watch out, there's a mosquito behind you. Oh, man, he's so happy for being, like, a grumpy villager. Like, he seems ridiculously happy. So we have a couple things. We could, like, donate to the museum. Do you want to do the bee stuff? Oh, I hear another balloon. God darn it. Where is it? Is it like across the bridge? Or is it coming this way? I feel like I've gotten a lot of balloons. Ah, it's too late. Oh well, never mind. Um, we'll try some bees, okay? So let me put that away. So what you want to do is have like the one tool so that you can immediately pull out your, your bug net. So, for example, we'll try this one. Oh my gosh! That was lucky! First tree, there's only like two of those. Let's try this one. No. This one. No. This one. No. This one. Wow, okay. I mean, fine. Crane game. Man, Penelope, I need to like chop down some of these trees. That one? No. <laughs> oh, this is so spook. No. No. Dude, where are the bees at? Hello? Balloon, shut up, I hear you. I can't do anything about it. <laughs> this one? This one. This one? I'm not even getting bells. Like, <laughs> what's going on? No. <laughs> okay, we got bells. This is not what we wanted. Come on. Hello bees. Any bees. Any bees at all. Pockets are full. Here, let me do that. And let me drop this stuff here. And also move this over because I'm gonna forget. And then I can pick this up and do that. Intense bee hunting. I know, but like, they ain't here. They're, like, they're really not. This is so scary. That's money. This one. Oh my gosh. They're supposed to be like, I think, four. So I'm not sure where they are. See, now the problem is this is like too scary. This is too north. Like I need to run north. But there's not enough room. Man, where are the bees at? Goodbye, balloon. Should we watch it go away? Here it goes. Bye. <laughs> Man, this is a nice house placement. Did we check? I think we check these ones. I guess they're all in the southern half of town then. Yeah, I know you always find bees when you don't need them and then when you do need them, they're nowhere to be found. Okay, let's try like all the way down here. This is perfect. Look, we've got like a clear run. It'll be fine. Nope. <laughs> Oh, this is really spooky. I just need the one. I don't, like, I just need the one. Nope. 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 <sighs> I 
I mean, again, those trees up there are kind of not in an ideal position, so I don't really want to shake bees out. Like, it's possible, it's just not as easy to do. This is crazy. Like, this is actually nuts. Where the bees? Where you go, bees? Okay, bees. Ta-da! Perfect. We got it. Okay, now I never need to do that ever again. <laughs> nice. See, I can catch bees. I just can't catch sharks. Or like all of the other fish that I've missed. Oh, right. What do we need to do? We need to clear the inventory a little bit here. And look how scary that looks. Oh, that just looks so gross. <laughs> okay, we'll go to the museum and then sell stuff that we don't need. That's the plan. Yeah, when I get the axe though, I'll just like chop stuff down and let myself be stung. Like, I don't care. Because I can either just go to bed or use medicine if I'm that bothered. And yeah, I, I did get one shark. I redeemed myself. So that's nice. It was always like, um, in Wild World, I remember that the ocean sunfish was so painfully common. And if you got anything that wasn't an ocean sunfish, it was like a miracle. Whereas in this game, I feel like it's completely balanced out between all of the fin fish, which is nice. If you talk to villagers with a sting, they can give you medicine. Yes, I think I did know that as well, which is very kind of them. They take pity on you. So, okay, so I can sell all of this stuff and like the beehive. Oh, beehive. <laughs> so many bees come towards but only catch one and the rest vanish. Yeah, I know. They're just like, as soon as the, the squad like breaks, they're like, oh crap, I'm out of here and they all flee. They all bee? Flea? Oh, we can catch fleas in this game. I've not seen one yet. They like appear on the animals though, don't they? Do you have fleas? No, you're good. <laughs> Imagine going up to someone and being like, hey, do you like have nits or... No, you're fine, okay. You have like a net in your hand, like... What a weirdo. Alright, let's go to retail. There's still some flowers kicking around that I need to pick up. What if you catch the queen? Well, then I control the bees. That's what happens then. I become the queen. The queen bee. That's what happens. Hello, Reese. I have some really gross bugs for you. How exciting. <laughs> so I've got the effects rack in the crane game and a ruby. Oh no, I don't have any bugs for you. I have fish and a beehive become the queen. <laughs> nice. 8,000 bells. That's a lot of cash. What was worth that much money? Thank you. So we have six minutes to get home, so let's take a nice stroll back. I think like if you're early they can arrive at your house a little bit early, which is nice. So we'll just head over there. Hey Harry. How's it going, bud? Watch out for bees. I mean, maybe you don't have to since there were like none of them, but... I tell you what, we'll go water the flowers and then head home. Does that sound like a plan? And we can check our permit like before we end off tonight. Gosh, I feel so bad for Skye because I've not been able to get her the thing that she wanted. And I've like proclaimed her as my best friend and I wasn't able to give her the the thing she desired. I mean we, we could have a last minute shark. That would be funny. Uh, a saw shark, I mean. Like we can walk the beach and just chill for like the rest of the stream. Like literally walk along the beach constantly. 
So we've caught like quite a good amount of the stuff we can find there, I think. Which is nice. I wonder if we'll get any um, hybrids. Because I'm not really trying, like I've not placed them optimally. But it could still happen. There's lots of roses and lots of tulips. And there's some decent cosmos plants. Um, it's a shame that, like, there's only four violets. Like, there's the purple, yellow, and white, and then blue for the hybrid. I really hope there's more colour variety in New Horizons. That would be nice. I also really want pink pansies, because those don't exist. But that would be cool. Alright. My precious lonely lily plant. Lonely lily. It's hard to say. Okay, we'll have a quick look at the beach and then we'll head home. Here we go. Maybe if we sing baby shark, it will summon the saw shark so that it can shut me up. Because, like, nobody wants to listen to baby shark. <laughs> uh. And saw shark isn't two syllables, so we can't even like sing saw shark. Do 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 do. Doesn't work. Okay, no no shark. Yeah, it would scare the sharks away. I agree. It would either scare them away or make them so angry that they would have to come over and be like, "Stop it! You know nothing of our kind or our children." <laughs> oh dang it! I forget about this house every time I come over here. All right, let's see if Penelope shows up. She's got like a few minutes. It's awkwardly quiet in this house. I don't know if I sit on the chair or if that would interrupt. But yeah, we've got like this nice wallpaper and this question mark book that takes you to the manual. So, and the cat, which is really creepy. So uh, yeah, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> the house will be bigger tomorrow. See, the one thing about the front room is that because it acts as a hallway to all the other rooms, I can never feel like I can decorate it the way I want to because you have to consider all the doorways. And I actually like the default size of the animals' houses the best in terms of decorating. So I kind of don't want to upgrade all my rooms to their biggest size because I actually really like the, um, like the smaller size. But I'll probably will upgrade everything just to like have it all done. But I think it's good to be restricted with your space and not have like such a big room to do all of your decorating in. Because empty space isn't realistic. Like it's nice to have stuff kind of all tucked in and close together. I think anyway. I think it's more aesthetically pleasing. Man, is she really going to wait until 6.30? I need to get some music in here, it's so quiet. <laughs> Walk around on the floor. Hey, once you're done inside your house, you should go out to your house because someone is coming over. But like, she should just come in, right? Isn't that not how it works? Oh, you're reminding me, but I'm already in the house, I see. <laughs> Confused myself there. La 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 la. I'll go, if she's not here when it turns to 6.30, I'll nip outside and then go back in again. This is a scientific test. For science. Will she turn up? Bang on 6.30. We shall see. It's very quiet. <laughs> oh dear. So this is Penelope coming over who's the oboe mouse. Um, and I remembered her catchphrase, but not her name, which is quite funny. Which is literally only from uh, Pocket Camp, because I had her recently in my campsite because I got her as a new villager. And so I had her like to level up at my campsite. So I was used to seeing her around, but I just could not remember her name. Because I thought it was some kind of like bow related pun, but that was just the catchphrase. 
but it's Penelope. Or Penelope. <laughs> I should just call her Penelope to really annoy her. Right, it's 6.30, friend. I'm gonna go out and go back in again. She did say 6.30. It was my house, right? Not her house. I'm pretty sure. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Mario? 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 Oh, here we go. Perfect. It's totally me, Penny Lope. <laughs> Uh, take your time, honey. Take your time on your little tiny mouse legs. <laughs> I can't wait to see everything. Oh, she's gonna think it's so cluttered. Let's see what she thinks. Wow, I already love it. I thought your place might look something like this. What, like a, a weird like junk shop library? Sure. Great thinking keeping this common chair in your home. It's so versatile. I mean, chairs are good. I like chairs. You can sit on chairs. Very versatile. <laughs> hmm, these walls don't have any shelves or clocks or anything. Yeah, I don't have anything to hang up. Maybe you could give me something. Huh? No, she's not going to give me anything. I mean, I've just started, so like, don't expect too much of me. I feel so welcome here in your house. Yeah, I should totally move in. Oh, that's something I've always wanted is to be able to like roomy with animals. So like your ex your like extra rooms, you could have like an animal move in. That would be so cool. Turn off the light and stare at her. <laughs> oh, awkwardly zoom in. Hi, Penelope. How are you, Penelope? Mind you, don't fall into the closet, Penelope. <laughs> Oh no. Here look, I'll put the main light on. How's that? I'm not sure what I love more. Fried ice cream or hanging out at your place. I mean... I don't think I've ever had fried ice cream. You done? See, I feel like I could just leave. But that seems like bad etiquette. So I feel like I should equally wait for her to leave. But she could take a, a, a while, yeah. Oh no, she's good. She's good. I think I soaked up enough of the ambience in here for today. I think I'll head out. Thanks for having me over. I know you're busy. We've got to do this again sometime. Perfect. Well, that was sweet. It was nice. Let's put the light out. So, like, we're totally good for chores today, right? Like, we did all the fossils. We paid off our loan. We're doing the Isabel stuff slowly. We'll go talk to her at the end to see how the permit is doing. So, shall we do like beach walks? It's pretty sky. It's so nice when the stars just start to come out. Just start to come out. Yeah. I want to go talk to Sky, but then I'm going to have to be like, oh, I can't do your thing. I'll like go talk to her though, because I've talked to like everybody else. Don't facepalm. <laughs> that was a great joke. What are you talking about? Hi Sky, I don't have your shark. I'm sorry I don't have your shark. Living alone can get, well, kind of lonely. So it's great to have such friendly neighbours. It really is. You're like kind of close to my house, huh? Man, her house is really sweet. Her bed being in the middle is kind of odd. But equally, I kind of like it. Lately I've been into wearing pyjamas inside out and backward. Ever since I start doing that I haven't had a single bad dream. Wow. Sure. <laughs> She's so funny. You're a bit of a freshman there, yeah. Usually I end up getting called like the billionaire, like the money one. Because usually that's like the only thing is that I have a lot of money. But you can have ones for like, I think gardening and like talking to villagers, I think. So it's kind of cool. The Alpine series is one of your favourites. Yeah, it's super like 
it's I don't want to use the word realistic but like you could see it in an actual home like IRL like it's very like homely and like welcoming but it's not garish like you know the cabin series is quite garish it's very Ikea yeah all the minimalist set perfect absolutely perfect I have Ikea shells behind me right now and my sofa's from Ikea so I I appreciate Ikea's services. <laughs> it's very good. So let's let's just do some beach walking. Beach walking and talking. Of course like all the butterflies are gonna spawn down here now. Should I catch stuff or just um, make it swim away? I should probably catch stuff because I've no doubt missed some catches in the ocean. Oh whoops. Oh I didn't think he saw it. Oh well. That's okay. That is okay. Man, look at this. We can like cast the rod out and see the edge of the screen. Almost. Let's have a look-see here. Sea bass, most likely. I think like you can catch tuna at that size in the winter. I think, but I'm not sure what is that size outside of tuna season. Or if it's just sea bass, you know? Come on sharks. Where are the sharks? You're sharky, sharky, sharky. Man, I'm just not seeing many fish at all. Maybe they're all hanging out at the secret beach that I can't get to. Because the secret beach is secret and safe. And I haven't been able to get there yet. Hello fish. I'm like trying to walk as close to the edge as possible, but I'm not really seeing a lot of stuff going on. Ooh, straight away. Hello. Let's have another run. Well, not run, because that would scare the fish away, but another walk across, and then we'll head up to the town hall and see where we're at with the permit. Oh, he's seen it. He coming. Oh, Lord, he coming. Yee. Just sea bass. <laughs> At least Hattie took one of my sea bass. That was nice of him. Saved me a trip to retail. Oh, we got another little fella here. Oh, another one straight away. Dang. So quick. Oh, look at this guy. He's new. Butterfly fish. Nice. And there's a yellow butterfly on the yellow flowers behind. How very appropriate. Okay, we'll go to the town hall. We'll see what Isabel's saying. And see where we are with our permit. Hey, Annalise. What is it? Do you believe in UFOs? I mean, there's lots of unidentified flying objects. Sure. You're not asking me if I believe in aliens, but I mean... The chance of there not being other life is extremely, ridiculously low. Unidentified oranges? On your floor. Mm. Because she, she always eats everyone. Wow, Annalise, you've just opened my mind. That's... that's crazy. She must love this town because it's full of apples and she's like a horse so you can she can eat all the apples. She's looking at me. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to her again. What can I do for you? Oh no, she's taking Harry's dumb phrase. Don't say beach bum. That's like so dumb. Oh. We're gonna have to fix that. Harry, stop it. Stop saying- stop telling everyone to say beach bum. Oh, I didn't check what my, um, meow things were. Oh. 
I guess I've done them. I really should have checked that yesterday. So what else have we got? Oh dang it, I already bought the stuff. Oh well, that's okay. Like, I can probably still do all these things anyway. But whatever, that's fine. <laughs> Beach bum, yes, yeah, such a dumb phrase. A room tour? I mean, I don't really have a room. Uh, maybe if I had like a dedicated place to call like my office, but right now I'm just in my living room, which is kind of boring. Uh, development permit, please, Isabel. 59%. Hello? We're getting there. That's fine. I mean, I'm happy to just get this tomorrow. So, wait, we started at, um, 22%, so we've done 37. So, like, we could probably get it tomorrow if we work a little bit harder, I guess? I'm not sure if there's anything else I can do today. I assume, like, I'm not sure if changing the flag is, like, a one-time thing or a once-per-day thing, but I can always try that again. And I can just talk to villagers more, and hopefully they'll give me more, like little tasks um and then that'll like contribute as well fish like mad yeah i mean i've been i've been doing it but i have to fish in the river to get like rubbish and i don't want to like i'm looking for sharks <laughs> i i guess i could do some river fishing for for rubbish well we'll do a little bit more beach walking beach walking and talking yeah, I think you can get rubbish in the ocean as well, but I, I tend to find it in the river way more frequently. Um, we'll see. Like, the beach is kind of boring when you're not getting sharks. So I really want to get me some sharks. Dude, there's like no fishies. Or like they're off screen or something. Yeah, this is pretty much the, the beach episode. Dang it. That was a quick one. That's what I get for looking over at chat. I should be doing the ceiling technique. Here we go. It didn't even bite and I pressed it. You know what it was? It was like a, a nervous like twitch and I pressed it. <laughs> the worst. It's so bad. First time you've ever heard someone wanting to find garbage. Yeah, one person's trash and their person's treasure. Absolutely. And my treasure is getting people to like me. And if that means hauling around really gross tin cans and tires, then I will do it. Hey look, it's another butterfly fish in exactly the same place. How bizarre. Because I also think like um, donating to the museum helps with the permit. So I should really fish in the river for that purpose, so I can actually get some new stuff to donate. So that is my concern at the moment. We'll do one more walk, okay? And then we'll do a little bit of river fishing. And it'll be nice. Here we go. Hello? No, he's not seen it. This will be a sea bass, right? Oh my gosh! I'm getting really previous with pressing the button. And you know what it is? I keep thinking it's three instead of five because of dumb pocket camp. Ruined my life. Ruined my Animal Crossing life because I think it's three instead of five. So on the third one, I press it. So bad. I'll get used to it. It's a Nemo. Oh, that's cool, Surf Monkey. That's cool to hear. Animal Crossing ruined Animal Crossing life. Exactly. You're so spoiled in that game. Like, fishing is so absurdly easy that I've lost all of my integrity and skill. Oh, I've done it again. I'm not used to the differentiating 
differences between the bloops of the bobber. So like, because the, the, the usual one's actually quite, it's quite similar. So like if it's the first one, it's always kind of hard to tell. It's okay, we'll get there though. So I'll be wrapping up the stream at 7, which is in like 15 minutes. So we'll just like do some casual fishing to end off, which has pretty much been the whole thing, but just more casual fishing, this time with more river, because it will go to the river. It'll be fun. You want to start YouTube too eventually, it's just not as easy as I'd like it to be. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I've ever been consistent at it enough to like warrant having opinions on this but um it was definitely like more simple back in the day <laughs> i mean it was more frustrating because like nowadays you can just buy a capture card and everything works like man i had my old dazzle and that thing was an absolute pain to set up for the first time it's like i mean it, it's more that's just talking about like the technical stuff, like it's something you need to practice, like being able to talk. And like I'm a really quiet person so talking is difficult but I find it easier to sort of talk and express opinions online because it's not so like, Ugh, can't, I can't talk and fish though. <laughs> it's, I don't know, I find it quite relaxing and good for me because I can practice communication skills without like real life people in front of me because like you're real people but you're not like standing right in front of me which makes me quite anxious so it's good for me in terms of like it's, it's good for practicing like public speaking and stuff because you just get used to starting talking like you might be talking nonsense but you're talking and I think that's important man I'm gonna have to cross the river for this guy aren't I He's too far away. Look at that waterfall though. So pretty. So beautiful. Yeah, I'm probably best fishing from the top side of the river. Here's a little guy though. We'll catch this one. Oh. Oh, why am I so bad? <laughs> why am I so bad at this game? It's been so long. But surely the... The muscle memory should have kicked in right now. <laughs> Just don't judge me. Please don't judge me. I'm trying my best. It's because I keep reading chat. So I'm gonna blame you guys completely. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. There we go. Got him. It's another carp. Oh man, it's gonna be exciting when I get my first koi. That's always like a feels good moment. You get your first koi cart. They're so pretty and rare. Is this guy gonna turn around or am I gonna have to recast? I'm gonna have to recast. Here you go, friend. Come on. Come on, fishy. There we go. A black bass. I think we got one of those already for the museum. In fact, have we even gotten anything new? We have the butterfly fish. That's new. I think the clownfish is also new. So that's a couple things at least. Uh, we should cross over though. I think the top, like it's harder to see the fish, but I think you can get a better casting position. Ooh, almost. He just moved like right the last second there. Oh, where are you going? He's swimming away. Don't do that. Where'd he go? Oh my gosh, there's two fishies. Oop. Let's try again. What have we got? Ooh, I think you're new as well. You fresh, Gobi. Nice, cool. 
That's like three new fish. Sweet. There was another one, but I don't know if he got scared off, maybe. How do you know what game is right to play through? Um, I'd say like, there's two ways of looking at it. Either games that are short, that you can kind of do and feel good that you've achieved something, or games that you know like the back of your hand and then you won't run out of things to talk about. I think you either have to be like really knowledgeable or just kind of like churn through a few series just till you get used to things. It's one or the other. Also it depends like if the videos are more for your personality or more for the game that you're playing. Like if you're really really good at a game or like a game series and your channel's like dedicated to that, then it's easier. But otherwise, like, I think just go with what you're most knowledgeable about because then you can focus more on talking and you don't have to worry about what you're doing in games so much because it's like muscle memory kind of thing. This guy is not getting into reach and it's really annoying. I'm gonna try casting way back here and see if he runs into it. Yeah, we'll do a final shark check. I'm gonna head over to retail just to sell a couple things. And then we'll do a, a final shark chork shark check. Eh. Oh, this fish. As soon as I change river sides, he's like, nope. <laughs> oh, oh, right. That, that fish is just a troll. I'm not gonna, I don't want to catch that fish anymore. Forget about it. Any more for any more? Ooh, look at that. It's a butterfly. It's like quite a rare butterfly. Well, not super rare, but it's nice to see. Where'd you go, pal? Oh, here you are. Got him. Raja Brook. Nice. I'm not going to sell it, though. I'm going to give it to the museum. It belongs in a museum. All right. Let's sell the stuff we have dupes of. We will go to the museum and then we will wrap things up with a final shark check. How does that sound, friends? Does that sound good? I feel like um, the stream goes by really fast. Which is good, because I'm like having fun. <laughs> but it's already almost been two hours. Isn't that crazy? That was um, not from League, it's from uh, Indiana Jones. And he's like, I forget if it's the scene where they're on the boat in the rain. Or anyway, he says like about an artifact, he says, it belongs in a museum. Like really urgently like anguished like he, he wants that in that museum gosh darn it he's like yeah <laughs> he's like so desperate shork chork i know we're gonna go do it we're doing a museum and then a, a, sh a, sh a shork chork <laughs> i'm not even saying words anymore we've just like devolved into dumb words which is fine i do that all the time I just replace vowels with other vowels. I think it's funny. I mean, it's dumb as heck, but it's funny. Oh, we already had a clownfish. That's fine. Three new things. Amazing. Yes? <laughs> Actually sounds like he says yes in the text. That's cool. Alright, here we go. The final... Uh, shirk chirk. It's a shirk chirk now. Let's go. Running so fast. Thank goodness I'm not having an unlucky day, otherwise I'd be falling over everywhere. I do have the lucky phone in the other town. That's one item that I'd quite like to bring over so I can find out my lucky item. Hey Penelope, what's up? A new catchphrase? Oh, but your catchphrase is so good. You can say the same thing, like, I love your catchphrase. Yeah, perfect. Oh wow, that's what the text box said. <laughs> that was weird. 
Hey, you you keep that. Man, I need to change who was it that was saying beach bum? Was it um was it um Annalise? Someone was saying beach bum and I was like, don't do it, Harry. Dang it, Harry. Why have you done this to us? Alright. We're doing our final shark check. Let's go. It'd be funny, like, I'm sure if I even caught one and I went back to Sky's house, she would have totally forgotten about it. And she's like, why do you have this shark? And I'd be like, no. <laughs> oh, dear. Alright, let's see. There's, like, no fish, let alone sharks. This is crazy. Okay, well, there's there's a fish. A small, small fish. Alright, come on, fishy. You're, like, right next to the bobber. Okay, I'll recast. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. And down. Come on, fishy. Come on, fishy. There we go. I think I've caught all of the small fish. Like, I've caught the seahorse, the clownfish. Is there another small ocean one? Because, like, I've got the surgeon fish, but I don't think that's a small one. Or the butterfly fish. I got that too. Oh. Oh. I thought it was maybe a shark. But it, it's not a shark. It's just a big fish. Big fish, little fish, cardboard box. Boop. So something cool that happened is I got 50 followers here on Twitch, which is really cool. And it's like one of the affiliate requirements. So that's awesome. Like that just happened like immediately. It's crazy. I very much appreciate your support, friends. It's all very kind of you. Thank you. Especially like, because of how inconsistent I am. I feel like people, um, anyone who sticks with me is like the best and they're so patient. Um, but I'm happy you're all choosing to hang out here. It's really cool. It's just so relaxing. Minus catching the sharks and catching the bees. It's so relaxing. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Ace Tick. That's really kind of you. You absolutely don't have to, but if, if you'd like to, that's very kind of you. Um, it's very generous. Um, I don't have an Instagram, no. I don't remember if I took the username. Which means someone's probably now going to go take the username. But I, I don't really want... I don't really have the need for it. Because I know, like, Twitter photos aren't as high quality, but I don't take that many photos that it's really necessary do so. I pretty much take photos of my cat. That's like, my Twitter media will be like Splatoon 2 clips and my cat. That's pretty much my existence. So, all right, it's almost seven o'clock friends and I don't see a shark. Man, if I, screw this fish. Okay, we're gonna do one more, one more, one more loop, okay? One more loop. One more loop. Okay, there's nothing up there. Look how pretty the sky is. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Um, Alright. Shark, shark, shark. You're not a shark. Go away. <laughs> we'll go to the edge and then we'll walk back. Don't you want higher quality photos of Roxy? I mean, sure, I guess. I guess. <laughs> you are not a shark. No, you're not. You go away too. Bleh. I said, wait, get out of here. Anything? It's your last chance, shark friends. Or ocean sunfish. I, I shouldn't discriminate the finned community. <laughs> um... Anything? Nope. I mean, I'm going. I'm leaving right now. Right now. Right now. See that slope? I'm gonna walk up it. Don't think I won't do it. Don't... Don't think I won't do it. <laughs> okay, there's no sharks, guys. I tried. I dragged it out for as long... Look, 7 o'clock. Oh, this is great. The game tells me when it's time to go. 
<laughs> this is perfect. Do, do. Yeah, I was trying to bait out the sharks, but they baited me. She baited hard by the sharks. All right, well, we'll see this villager tomorrow. I'm okay, Aestic, thank you. It was it was literally just to give to Sky, and I'm not overly upset. Um, so we'll sit on the rock. I think this is going to be the thing now. This is how we end off. We sit on the rock, and we say our farewells. Oh, oh my, the fish and the chip ate it. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, so yeah, thanks everyone for coming and hanging out today. It was really cool. It's going to be the same tomorrow. This is just how it is now. Um, so thanks for spending your evenings or mornings or afternoons or night times. Wherever you are. Uh, hanging out here, playing some Animal Crossing with me. So I'll be back here tomorrow. Um, same time, same place. Maybe I should make like an ending screen to like help me say goodbye. Because now I'm just like, I want to just read chat and hang out, but we're leaving now. Um, thanks Acetic, that's very kind of you. See you later, Earth and Tiger. Um, goodbye everyone. Thank you for, we got some follows as well today during the stream, which is really cool. And like I said, we went past 50, which is like nuts. So yeah, all, all really good. So I'm going to say goodbye now and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Otherwise, I'll see you in the VODs or wherever else I am on the internet. So yeah, thanks a lot, friends. I'll see you later. See you tomorrow. Lots of love. Bye, bye, bye. Love you lots. Bye. Bye.